Hi guys and welcome back to Airgun Evolution channel. Today I need to fix my Benjamin Armada because I forgot how it actually works and I ended up breaking part of the stock on it. Ah, you know, I can't even get this thing apart without it on the gun. Okay, uh, yeah, jam it right into my finger, okay. So as you guys know, I have a folding stock adapter on my Armada. What you don't know is with my butt stock I added on, there's a slight wiggle in it. You can hear it right there. One of the methods to cure it and the one that I went with is you get a piece of Velcro and you just put one side like the soft fuzzy side of Velcro down. But I laid down a strip like that on it which just was too much. I got the stock in position where I wanted it to but I couldn't adjust it. When I was trying to take it off, I actually put too much pressure trying to, you know, pull it off that I actually broke the folding stock adapter, which is good that this broke because I actually thought I broke it right off from the gun. Long story short, I need to fix it and replace it. Here's the old piece, broken pieces right there. Here's the new one right here. See, and this is what I... This is how I broke it in the first place, trying to get this stock off. And I forget how you do it. Okay, okay, so. There we go. That's good. All right. So I don't have blue Loctite, but I have red Loctite, and I know the preferred thing to use is the blue, and I'm just going to put a little drop on the threads of my, with my red just to lock it all down, and I know with just a little drop of this I'll still be able to break it free. I mean I can turn the stock sideways and get a lot of leverage, that's how I got it off to begin with. Okay, well that was a, that was a very healthy drop, I will admit. That was a... Very, very healthy drop of red Loctite. That was too much red Loctite, if someone were to ask. And I don't have an AR Armorer's wrench. I actually went out and bought one last time I did this. I'm not gonna do it again. So I don't have an Armorer's wrench, but I do have this square-headed bit, and it fits perfectly into the gap right here. It fits perfectly right there. So with that in place, I can just put my wrench on right here. Yeah, yeah, it's going good. That's good right there. Nice and tight now. Okay, there we go. Okay, we've got the folding stock adapter on. Now it's time to put smaller strips of Velcro on to take the, the wiggle out of the stock, but still allow it to have some adjustability. So I have my Velcro right here, and before what I did is I just took this whole piece and I just put it on like that. Worked perfect to take the wiggle out, but it was too much friction. You couldn't really easily adjust it. So this time I'm just gonna take maybe two little tiny snippets, put one in the back, one somewhere's in the middle, and test it. I've been messing with this buffer tube velcro combination for about 45 minutes. When it dawns on me, the buffer tube that the gun came with is the one that Benjamin sends out with it and they send out their stock. The stock I put on it is a mil spec stock. It dawns on me, I've got a mil spec buffer tube in the other room just lying in the drawer not doing anything. So I went over there. Here's the thing with the velcro on it. I just took it off. I go over there, I put the mil spec buffer tube in here. There's no wiggle at all. It's a little tight to move up and down. But it's possible. 
I honestly think I might even just throw a little bit of oil in there just to lube it up a bit. This is coming off. I can't believe I had such an easy solution and spent such a long time not realizing it. Done. That ends it for my gun project day. Hope you guys somewhat enjoyed me stumbling around on these projects. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. So